praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have to tell you that Jesus Christ of the Nazareth is here. Clap your hand now if you are happy. If you believe that testimony, clap your hand. Amen. I am the I, I have to say that I am the uh, the first person that received Holy Ghost in extraordinary yesterday. Clap your hand on somebody. Are you not happy somebody see eternal life? As we are singing yesterday night, <laughs> sudden a uh, something touched me. <laughs> The moment he touched me, he said, my son, turn. I saw an old man with a mighty staff. He's coming this way. <laughs> coming this way. <laughs> I say, man, what is your name? He said that I am still what I am. Clap your hand, nice and experience. Somebody touch my soul. Somebody touch me. And he went this way. Because why I know that is Jesus Christ. He went this way. I saw a one man with chain. He cut off that chain. I asked God, what is the meaning? He said that this man, that they made him never to do what? Pregnant a woman. And he healed him that yesterday. Second one, another man beside that man, he said, I healed the ace. Somebody with sickness, a terrible sickness. <laughs> Suddenly, I saw the angel they move. When, as pastor is preach, preaching, I saw a small, small kids. Small, small children. Small, small children. <laughs> they are more than fifty. <laughs> I asked God, who are they? All the small, small children. He said, my angels, they come to do something. That is why I know that I have received all I lost many years. Clap your hand for restoration. Somebody even tonight there will be restoration. So get ready. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And once again today he says he's coming with hammer to destroy many things. Hey! Hey! Sure. I believe it. Sure, clap your hand. I believe it. Because today is a lot. So now we are bringing by law. So when he says he's coming with hammer, I believe it. I believe it. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, you are blessed. Amen. God bless you. Restoration. Clap your hand for somebody here that received the Holy Ghost. Restoration. Clap your hand. God is sister. Amen. Amen. Yesterday when I was praying, and then the pastor was say, telling us that we should ask for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. But I've been, I've been seeing some people falling. I was thinking they, it's a joke. Uh -huh. Maybe they have some demon uh -huh. that is operating in them. Oh. So I was contemplating, telling God then, uh, uh, I do not participate in fasting, but I want to receive that Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. I was praying in my mind. But what I saw that uh, something just touched me like this. I don't know when I, from my own seat to another seat, <laughs> and I fell down from that place. <laughs> and that thing so continue to vibrate me. I continue to vibrate, vibrate. <laughs> even up to, even when I got home, it still continue to do. do Joy, clap your hey, hand hey, now. Hallelujah. The owner are coming to take over the house. That's so, right. I was. God is wonderful. <laughs> so the experience I got yesterday, I have not seen it before. Child, clap your the Lord. Lord Jesus. Clap your hand the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody here, prepare for your own tonight. In the light, the light of God. I have seen the light, oh, amen. Hallelujah. Please, I want everybody, if you are really happy that you are here, I want everybody to stand up and shout hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Although I'm a full member of this church, at least this church when I was in Athena, and that's where I baptized everything. But let time I move to Ijesha here. Yeah. There'll be a long time attending this uh, make your calling and election show. Yes, yeah, so my brothers and sisters, I'm telling you 
God is real. He's raw. Yeah, he's real. Yeah. Clap your hand for the testimony, brother, if you believe. My brothers and sisters, I will tell you, if you are here, don't just go. I be, uh, like my pastor used to say, some people escort somebody to come to this service. Don't just come here and be looking, looking. Mm-hmm. All I will advise you, when you come here, open your mind, open your spirit. Mm-hmm. Lose your spirit yourself. Mm-hmm. Don't feel shy. You will see the God raw. Amen. Don't open your spirit, open your heart. You see the manifesto of the God will come to your life. Tell us experience. That I will tell you. And again, what I will t- tell you, my brothers and sisters, when you come here, don't just be praying on your own. This is our pastor Moses Alu. Pray for him. Pray for him family. Tell him experience. Pray for him family. Hey brother, tell us what you got to experience. Want Sorry, to sir. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And yesterday, I was so excited. Yesterday, you know, when the prayer was going on, uh, daddy was ministering the Holy Ghost. You know, on my body, I feel fire all over me. I couldn't get myself. <laughs> I couldn't get myself. When I was turning, I uh, I don't know. I was trying, I can't able to receive myself. In short, my brothers and sisters, you know, I thank God because I've received eternal life now. Clap the Holy your Ghost. hand now. Clap your hand. It's a personal experience. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, yesterday program, even on Thursday, that this program started on Thursday. Thursday, I experienced it too. The fire of the God in my life. I even when I came to um, Friday, Friday too, I thank God. That experience I have you on Thursday. Lord, I want to have that experience on Friday again. In short, God do it more and more now. If uh, Thursday rule. Oh, my body was fire, feeling fire. In short, God is free. God is wrong. In short, I've seen change in my life now. My prayer was said uh, seduce the spirit. Lord, so even I see you, man, fornication, all those things. I won't go to remove it away in my life. But I've thanked God. In short, all those things have left for me. I give Chuck God the glory. Up your hand in As many that is here. Hearing me, they have not received eternal life. As you hear now, you're going to receive your in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No power, nothing will stop you. Don't open your mind. You see the God raw. Is he here? Is raw. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. John, glad you the Lord Jesus. No one ever cares for me. Yesterday, I was like, I experienced something that I have never experienced in my life before. <laughs> when Pastor was praying, he said we should raise ourselves. <laughs> no. I have never f- raised myself before. I was I, I, just like a Thomas. I eh. want to confirm it Not my own self. <laughs> so he was making a comment, release yourself. Something will happen to you. Oh, it's yes. possible. So at that time, something touched at my waist. Somebody, Somebody touched, touched me. me. And when that person touched me, I saw something crack in my waist. Crack, crack. I look back. The nearest person that had my back has nothing to do with me. It was like a little bit far from me. So I was like, let me be sure. Let me be careful. I was watching. Let me see if that thing will happen again. Pastor was saying, pray, pray. I didn't pray again. I was releasing myself, watching. All of a sudden, the person tapped me again. I stopped immediately. I didn't see anybody. Uh-uh. So, so this thing this man is saying is true so from that moment I can't stand as a man sometimes something push me I hold myself it push me back I hold myself so all of a sudden I now believe that something has touched me so from there pastor said we should dance and praise to God so I dance as I have never George danced George the Lord Jesus he Christ he touched somebody Jesus. and he's going to touch more today Hallelujah. Who's done it today? There are many of you there who have the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Uh, it was um, on the first night. That was on Thursday night. So, the first time I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it was a noise I had on my ear. So, I was asking the Lord, said, Lord, I want a different experience again. I don't want the first experience I had. So, I need another experience. So, the Thursday night, 